All right, so Duff Noodles hosted another one of his roast battles, and he somehow outdid himself. This was one of the craziest events I've ever seen, and that's what I was saying after the first roast battle, but no lie, this is on another level. I could not believe what I was watching. I've never seen anything like this. So Duff Noodles, he's been telling people, other YouTubers who like to make fun of him, he's been telling them to show up at his club to roast him for weeks now. And somebody finally took him up on that offer, Salvo Pancakes, he decided to show up and Duff Noodles didn't seem very happy about it, especially because Salvo brought a bunch of his fans and Red Bar fans. So most of the people in the audience were not fans of Duff Noodles and before Duff Noodles even came out, they were chanting fuck Duff Noodles. So it was a tough crowd. I, I don't think I've ever seen a comedy club where most of the crowd absolutely hates the comedians and they're not going to laugh at all and they're only going to talk trash. And honestly, the crowd was kind of funnier than the comedians too. So this was just, this was history. Death Noodles, he's been talking about how he's making history and everything. This was historic. Like I'm never going to forget this event. I mean, right from the start, it's already completely out of control. Deaf Noodles, he's in the back trying to get the crowd all hyped up. He's like, come on, let's hear it. If you guys want to see us come out and perform and everything, and no one's really responding. And then Salvo, he's like, all right, let's get the chant going. And everyone just starts chanting, De fuck Deaf Noodles. And then Salvo, he gets on stage. He's getting them all riled up. And then Deaf Noodles, he comes out from the back and just tosses Salvo off the stage. And a fight almost breaks out. Salvo, he's got a security guard there. And I don't know what Death Noodles is doing because he's been telling people to show up to his club and have a roast battle with him. And finally somebody does and he just assaults him right away. Like, come on, dude. And then he never really does any roast battle with him. Started. It's not going to get started unless people make some get fucking, fucking noise. Get fucking lit! Get fucking lit! <laughs> the show is not going to get started until people make some fucking noise. You're going to sit here. Hold on, hold on. I got you. I got him. All right, everybody in the back. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Help me, help me, help me. There we go. Fuck Dev Noodles. Fuck Dev Noodles. Fuck Dev Noodles. Fuck Dev Noodles. Fuck Dev. Come on, please. Give, give me some more. Give me some more. I need some more. <laughs> All right, uh, okay, I guess, I guess they're ready. I guess they're fucking ready. So right from the start, it's already rough because none of these people like him. Like, at least the last show, most of the people in the crowd were his fans, and they were just laughing at whatever, and they are trying to have a good time and support him. This one, it's just all people that hate him. It's crazy. It's hard to watch. And also, unfortunately, the sound kept cutting out in the middle of this. But at least when Deaf Needles shoved Salvo, somebody got a good video of that. So I'll play that right after I play the clip from Deaf Needles live stream. So Deaf Noodles has been telling people to show up to his club and have a roast battle with him and somebody does it and this is what happens. He just tosses them off the stage. Like this is your chance. This is what you want to happen and you basically just try to start a fight instead of roasting him. This is not the best look but I think at this point Noodles is just going with all publicity is good publicity. It doesn't matter if he starts his show off with a fight pretty much. He's just going for whatever and i mean it's working for the time being i mean this is interesting stuff people are entertained by this they want to watch it but i don't know where he'd go from here this is happening in real fucking time and we're not playing the fuck around this shit is
Congratulate. You're going to have your moment in the sun. I appreciate everybody, even the Salvo fans, for paying for the tickets to come into the building. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Uh, so we are going to get this show rolling. Corey, come on. Get up here with me, bro. I don't know why Deaf Noodles has even been telling these other YouTubers and people that don't like him to show up at his club because he's not going to roast them. And right here, he really has nothing to say to Salvo. Like, he just throws him off the stage, and then he continues on, and he just brings out other people to deal with the crowd and deal with Salvo. Like, if you tell these people to show up and you want to have a roast battle with them, and you're like, how about you talk some shit to my face? Like, let them talk and have a roast battle with them. Don't throw them off the stage and then just bring out other people and act like they're not there. Like, right in the beginning, he should have just given the mic to Salvo and been like, all right, go off, roast me, say whatever you want to say. And, like, actually done something with it. Not just, like, push it all to the side because all these people there don't like you. And you're not going to be able to play into it. Maybe a good comedian would, like, feed off the crowd and off the negativity and turn it into something funny. Deaf Noodles and all these other comedians here, they can't pull anything like that off. And it's just cringy the whole time. It's more of like the Salvo show. Deaf Noodles, he does not have control of it. Like right in the beginning, Salvo, he hands out these posters. So his fans in the middle of the show would bring them up and Salvo could sign him. Hey, what you, what you holding up there? Sign, sign it, I dress like the Coles manager. Uh, come on, yo, yo, don't, don't y'all sit in here like Mr. Salvo Waffles got the best outfit on. He got a Bill Cosby sweater on right now. This is nasty work, y'all. Yeah, anyway. Come on, Dad. Come yo, on, Arthur, Dad. come out here, bro. He got on Doc Martens, too. This nigga fresh as You got a mic? Hey, Dennis, You went to IU? You went to IU? That's good for you, bro. You went to IU? So after this, things finally settled down a little bit, at least enough for them to bring out the first people to do the roast battle. And it was somehow even cringier than the last one, especially because the audience was not laughing at all. At least with the first one, they're Deaf Needles fans, so they're just laughing at whatever. They're just happy to be there. These people, like the Salvo and Red Bar fans, they took over and they were not laughing. They're just making fun of people. They're just heckling. And like the few Deaf Needles fans there, I think they were just too nervous to laugh or like speak up or anything, so it was not going well. And obviously the comedians here just aren't very funny, and I almost just feel bad for them because they probably didn't know what they are getting themselves into, but this was just hard to watch. And it's also a roast battle. I don't know what people really expect from this. I don't know how many comedy clubs do this kind of thing. Yemma wears glasses so people won't think he's threatening. <laughs> Evan wears glasses so people don't know how he's so, that he's stupid. It's very, all right. <laughs> I encourage everybody to vote for Evan because I'm pretty sure if he loses, if he gets made fun of one more time, he's gonna shoot up this whole bitch. That's what I know for sure. A little slow with <laughs> yeah so i don't know if the audio purposely cut off there because he made a joke about this guy shooting up the place but you could tell duff noodles he is uncomfortable up there you just see the look on his face and i'll give him credit at least he continued the show because that couldn't have been easy you could tell this was not going well for him and he could not handle the pressure and he's like sweating up there because it's really hot and this was just rough i don't know how he finished it uh, I've had to drive Yemma home because his car has been booted multiple times. <laughs> Just a fact. It is. <laughs> yeah, it this is. guy parks illegally. Fuck him. <laughs> One more time for awkward. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to call it right there. That's it. She's like, <laughs> damn, bro. All right, this is a, this is a, it started Just off great. Amazing show. Uh, anyway, come here. Yemma, Evan. All right, give it up for Yemma. Give it up for Evan. Yo, bro, you guys, you, you, they're tied, really? We're gonna. I like how also basically the whole show, I think this projector is still up and the screen is just being projected onto them. And I don't know why Deaf Needles just didn't start the show off with Salvo. Like he should have just been like, all right, dude, you're here. Let's have the roast battle because 
then they just would have gotten that out of the way and maybe the crowd would have left after that or whatever or like Salvo would have sat back down and that was like his opportunity or they could have kicked him out instead they have him waiting there in this whole crowd and like Salvo's sitting there on his phone and people are getting all worked up you should have just like started with all that you should have just gotten that out of the way then brought all the comedians out but instead you're bringing all these people out with a crowd that absolutely hates them so eventually duff noodles he brings out the girl who won the last roast battle because she's going against somebody and as soon as she comes out it's just a complete mess and of course somebody in the crowd yells out you look like my cousin if you were a girl the famous line from the last roast battle between her and deaf noodles and you could tell they're just annoyed by it Miranda. all yes, right sir. fernando yo deaf how you wearing sweatshorts and still got no dick print <laughs> <laughs> i got no dick you look like if my cousin was a girl oh. <laughs> Epic. We got Fernet. Where the hell's Fernet? So then when this girl's up there doing a roast battle against this other guy, obviously it's not going well because the crowd is not into it and they're just basically like booing him and heckling him and making fun of him and breaking out into like fuck deaf noodles chance. Like that was the whole show pretty much. And you could tell she is getting pissed. And I'm honestly surprised a fight didn't break out here. Like I, the whole time I just waiting. I'm like somebody is gonna throw a punch. The shit was getting heated. But right here in this roast battle, she's like, man, I just really want to fight somebody right now. <laughs> Dude, I want to I fight. You want to fight? <laughs> no, I, I, I like... Fuck that noodles! 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 Fuck that I like... I like... You got, you got a couple more. Miranda's good. So Salvo even announced that he was going to come to this show and everything. So I feel like Deaf Noodles should have been prepared. Like he should have been writing jokes. He should have been like, all right, this guy's going to show up. I'm just going to make fun of him in front of his whole audience. Because you could probably come up with some jokes to roast this guy. But Deaf Noodles, he was not prepared at all. He didn't even really say much to make fun of him. All the other comedians, they tried to roast him, but they didn't know him very well, obviously. And... They were just like, oh man, you're a troll. Why are you spending your time here? And then Salvo would just respond with, well, if my fans weren't here, then who would be watching the show right now? So the situation is, a lot of y'all is trolls, right? A lot of y'all yeah. is trolls. Yeah. Y'all ain't got shit to do, nigga. <laughs> That's weird. If we were here, there'd be nobody in the crowd. <laughs> Y'all niggas is weird. That's you? You Salvo? You Salvo? Remember why you have a crowd. Remember why you have a crowd. It's because of us. You gonna tell some jokes? But you spent money though. That's weird. After this, shit got even crazier. And I don't know what's going on here. At this point, I felt like I was just tripping balls because I could not believe what I was watching. They brought out this guy. They're doing like a two-on-two -two roast battle or something like that. And they brought out this gay guy that's part of the roast battle and another guy who had his shirt off. So the gay guy's like, oh, well, I'm going to take my shirt off too. And while he's taking off his shirt, Salvo, he gets up and he starts helping him take his shirt off. And then once it's off, he starts wiping him down with his shirt. And then Salvo grabs the guy's nipples. I don't know what this is. Get up. Everybody make it loud for Ellie Mac Daddy. Yeah. So after that, you would think Deaf Noodles would make some kind of joke or like roast him. Like that was kind of weird for like, I don't know, I think Salvo straight, like that's kind of weird for a straight person to do. And you would think Deaf Noodles would roast him or make fun of him or something. But it's just like, oh yeah, let's continue on. Like, what was that? That was weird. You should have pointed that out. Salvo was giving him a great opportunity there, but I just don't think Duff Noodles has it. He, he just doesn't know how to be funny. He doesn't know how to roast people. So then at some point, some girl comes from the door in the back and she runs up and tosses a drink on Salvo. And again, things are just out of control. And Salvo gets on the stage and he's like having the best time. And he starts like staring down Duff Noodles. And what a scene. Like this was surreal to watch. Uh, we're gonna drop a ticket link to the show next week.
All right. So this is, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank Salvo for coming all the way out from Cleveland, Ohio, to be on the show. It's very special for somebody to fly across the country, pay for their stay, to come and be on a stage, unpaid. He just really wanted to be on the stage, folks. So anybody at home, if you want to be on this stage, you could be on this stage as well. It's very obvious that Salvo absolutely loves me. He can't. So then at the very end, Deaf Noodles is like, you know, I don't think we should give Salvo the mic. People are saying they don't want to listen to him. But then he goes around the club asking people if he should have him up. And they're like, well, yeah, of course. Like this guy has clearly wanted to be the center of attention the whole show. And now you're just not going to let him talk. Like give him his opportunity. Let's see if he's funny. And eventually Deaf Noodles is like, all right, here you go. He gives him the mic and Salva really doesn't have much to say. He just starts telling people to start chanting fuck Deaf Noodles again. Noodles, fuck Deaf 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 Noodles, really? Right when I join in. See right there, Deaf Noodles should have been like, dude, you waited the whole show and I finally gave you opportunity and now you're just doing the same shit. You're just telling everybody to chant Deaf Noodles, fuck Deaf Noodles again. I mean, you've been doing that the whole show. Th this is your chance. Like, let's hear it. Like, he should have put all the pressure on Salvo and been like, all right, you think you're a funny guy? You wanted your chance. Here you go. But he just, he doesn't have it. And it's just sad, honestly. Listen, I'm not going to stand up here like every other hack comedian, comedian LARPer, that is playing the Joe Rogan experience with the fake Joe Rogan, get on the podcast, act like they're real comedians. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna monologue for about an hour about how fucking pathetic this grown man really is. Dennis Noodles, Dennis Fatozo, is a 40 year old man. No, he's not. He lied about his age. He's a 40 year old man that is so. He's a 40 year old man. He's a 40 year old man. I had to deal with this the whole show. You're complaining? You're, now, hold up. You're complaining about a little bit of heckling? <laughs> I had to deal with this the whole show. Dennis Noodles! Well, at least he did bring that up. That was at least smart of him. But he should have just had a roast battle with this guy, with Salvo. Because, I mean, odds are Salvo is not going to have the best roast. Like, right here, he's just saying the same shit that most people say. Like, oh, he's a 40-year-old man on the internet. He's lying about his age. He has all these hack comedians. Like, it's all the same stuff. So I feel like Deaf Needles should have just been like, all right, let's do a roast battle one-on-one -on -one because no one really expects anything from Noodles. They know it's going to be cringy. But at least Salvo, he's going to have to perform, and it doesn't sound like he has that much material. And if you put him on the spot, it'll probably be cringy for him. And as we see here, there are some Deaf Needles fans that are chiming in. So it would have been a good back and forth. That would have been a great way to end it. But Deaf Noodles didn't see that at all, and instead, he just ends up throwing Salvo out, and the ending here is pretty funny. Is the only person that is able to have everybody on the internet fucking hate him. The gays hate him. The commentary plays him. Everybody fucking hates him. Thank you so much for joining. We will so I appreciate everybody coming for coming out. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna hang out. All right, so that was a legendary event for sure. So shout out to Duff Noodles and Salvo. I mean, I'll give them credit. They put on a good show. 
I don't think this is what Deaf Noodles is going for. I don't know if he liked how it turned out, but I mean, Salvo gave him a good show for sure. That was really entertaining. I don't know how Deaf Noodles would do better than that. And he had a good amount of viewers. I think he had about a thousand watching just on YouTube and with everybody else like stream siphon it. I think they're probably like over 6,000 people watching it live and maybe Moist Critical will react to it again. I'm sure every commentary channel is going to be talking about it. Maybe H3 will finally chime in. You know, this is a big deal right here. So congratulations, Death Noodles. I mean, I don't think this is what he's going for, but this is something. He's on to something here. I've definitely never seen anything like this. And I agree, Death Noodles is making history here. I don't know what the history is, but this is one of the more unique and interesting events I've ever watched. And I was laughing a lot. It was hilarious. So it'll be interesting to see where things go from here. I don't know how he could outdo himself with this one, especially because... I mean, Salvo was a big part of this, so if he doesn't show up, I don't know, it probably won't be that great, but we'll see. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this mess, and then hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.